Um, okay, hi everyone. Excuse me if I sound like a bit of a mong. I'm like, you know, talking to a camera. But, um, yeah. Um, this guy, Bootlicker, from TGC. And this guy, Sylvia, asked me to make a tutorial. So, yeah. It's uh, to show you how to get all this fish is all like, you know, shade already. I don't know if Bond does it this way, but it's just like, you know, the lazy man's guide. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna make this barrel and like this segment shader ready. So, you, uh, you go into the entity bank and find the texture and the model. And I'm doing barrel three. So I open up the FPE, FPE, and find the texture barrel zero two D two. Right here it is, and uh, make a copy of that. Just rename it. Take off the two. Just barrel zero two D. And uh, I'm using Photoshop. Uh, I that's the only thing I've ever really used, so I don't know how to do it, anything else really. But like, you can get this like a uh, normal fat map, normal map filter for uh, Photoshop, and it just really makes normal maps. You know, lazy man. You can I like to have a I like crazy harsh normal maps, so I'd like put it on 99, but that looks a bit retarded. Just stick on five for now. Makes normal map. So go save as dot whatever the same the same um, format. And just oh crap. Just stick um at the end. Okay, that's retarded. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's why. Okay, yeah. So good. I want to get the normal texture. This isn't the real way to do it, but this is how I do it. Uh, I make it grayscale. Go to a contrast. Just bump up the contrast to the top. Looks like a good enough uh, eye map for me. So, like, I just stick that on the end. Right, that's all ready to go. That for all the maps. Um, I've already done one somewhere. This one. So you get the directory for the effect for the shader and you just stick it in really and that should work now right. so we got our bow but now we want the shader yeah? not the shader the segment so we go to um, find that workshop blue And there's no textures. I'm not actually this retarded. Just like, you know, I'm talking to a camera. I feel like a spaz. I'm not very PC, am I? Anyway. Um, what? Ah, alright. I assume it's this one. Yeah, okay. So you do the same. Just make a D. Yeah, D. And um, do normal map again. You don't have to change the, the, you know, the scale or whatever. Fifteen, I think. Eight. Well, I'll save as. And scroll N. You know, you make all this the same way, and just, what I do anyway, right, you know. I kind of cut corners a lot. I don't know, I don't care as long as it works, you know. Um, and then you need to find a, um, 
uh, thingy. What's the Bob? A segment with the shader already in it, so you can just copy the, the directory, really. Um, I can't remember which one I did. Brilliant, right? Oh, well, that's the floor, so you'd have to make the same match for the floor. Uh, I haven't done that, so just do the walls. You have to paste the directory into every effect apart from the first one, unless you have made the um, the right, the same maps for the floor texture as well. But you know, I'm talking to a camera, so I'm not going to do that. And I cut corners, but no. Right, this should all work now. But I'll have to redo it because it's got you know. Oh crap. I'm using the uh the static shader for this one. It doesn't really matter I don't think as long as like you know the sticker is dynamic or static. To be honest I don't really use shaders on enemies, but like you know some people do. Right, here we go. 